Guys, we have new animals we've got. And uh, we're gonna show you, we, we picked up a few things and uh, one of them's pretty interesting, so stay tuned. So we decided that we we're gonna pick up a couple animals from a good friend of ours, John Danner. And uh, when we pick up a couple animals, we like to pick up a, a few at a time and then quarantine them for a while. So we also got something from an auction and then we got something from uh, Justin Gabelka. So I don't know if you guys ever heard of him, but let's go through what we picked up actually from the auction first. Let's do the auction first. So what was the auction for? The auction was for uh, the Herbological Society, the Madison area Herbological Society. That we're members of. That we're members of. I can hear the leaves falling in the trees and that's just dollars, baby. So this is from Sloths. Sloths? Sloths? Actually, I don't really know how to. Sloths? Sloths? Slockies? Slockies? <laughs> Man, should have asked. Yeah. Um, and he sent invoice, a feeding card. Really awesome. Uh, well packed. Let's pull it out. A little wood fill. Yeah. A little thank you, uh, Jimmy Jam on there. Let's see here. The lighting should be really good. It feels good. It's a very nice day today. Okay. Come here. This is a spot nose, and when he put it in the auction, he said it's a possible Arroyo. And you know how we love the Arroyo stuff. So I looked at that and I said, all right, look, spot nose don't usually give you this long dorsal stripe. Also, the putting greens, since it's all connected, I would say like these are our putting green ideas. You get some of the hooking, oh, sorry, running. Get some of the hooking here. But then also, if you look at the belly, you see the popcorn belly that we talk about, and then also these thumb prints or fingerprints come up the sides here. And I looked at that and I said, that's not just a spot nose, it's definitely a spot nose Arroyo. And um, yeah, and we wanted to donate to the auction, so we said, yeah, let's, let's do this. And this is a female. So we wanted more females, and uh, spot nose Arroyo female, can't beat that. So uh, we're really excited to add this to the collection. Put her back. So next we picked up three animals from our friend John Danner, from Danner's Constrictors, Danner Constrictors. And uh, let's take a look at them real quick. Now we went to his house and picked them up. So I'm gonna be showing you guys. He recently posted um, he recently posted about uh, this, this is a crazy looking eye eyes this one so I want to show you guys this one he recently posted about a super trick crazy, and crazy good or crazy bad eyes no good oh. it's just <laughs> you're like it's, it's just a weird reflection so he recently posted about a super trick and talking about the trick gene and he does have amazing trick stuff. So this is a black pastel trick and you guys know that we have our black pastel chocolate trick that we got from him as well. And this is a female. So we're excited to keep upping our trick game. She looks like she's going to bite me. Take a couple trick shots. Take a couple trick shots. But um, yeah. Beautiful colors. See all the, the open alien heads and yeah, I want to get trick into the uh, into our campfire stuff too. Mm. I'm just saying. Probably be real fun. So that girl all of a sudden decides she doesn't want to go in. Um, so it's one girl. So look at this beauty. So this is a candy het pied. Another candy het pied female. 
So we have a bunch of candy stuff, but now it's more candy hep pied. So candy is very similar to lavender albino, but they we think that they look a little bit better and they stay with this lavender stuff in between the, the alien heads for a little longer in their lives, we think. Um, beautiful animal, but it's also 100% hep pied. So some candy pieds is what we're going to be shooting for next year or maybe two years with this girl, but it's a beautiful animal. So yeah, comment down below. Show, tell us what you think about the candy gene, what you think uh, you would be pairing stuff like this to. Obviously we're going to have to do it to a pied of some sort or a candy pied of some sort, but man, we're excited about that. Let's show you the last snake we got. The last one is one that I picked up. He was showing us stuff through the collection and I said, I want one of those. And it was like a, a knee jerk reaction. Um, Ryan's been on a bit of a spending spree. What? And, <laughs> and uh, what are you talking about? Anyway, so I looked at it and I was like, yeah, I want that. Um, and this is a, another girl, like I was saying. But this is just a pied. This is a pied female, but he has a an adult pied female that throws all these crazy patterns. It almost, I mean, it doesn't look enchi pied, but it kind of has that same feel where it's destroying the, the low white um, stuff. And everything that that female produces is low white. So you can see it is the pied, has pied all over but it has this crazy pattern look through the belly the belly is impressive yeah so this is what the belly looks like the yellow are the oranges and the yellows just bleed into the belly and the belly is completely white it's like really really awesome so even though it's just a pied in theory we think that there's some weird stuff going on there and we just said why not start you know have this project going we have a good bit of pied stuff, so add her in. So that's pretty cool. So the next snake we picked up from Justin, we were at the um, Arlington show, and in the auction there, they had a gift card for uh, for Justin's, you know, snakes and on his website or whatever, you can use it at the show. And so because we were donating to US Arc, we wanted to get that gift card. So we got the gift card, and then we went to Justin and said, hey man, we'll pick up something from you. And of course, Justin gives us all the swag, some beautiful stuff, stickers. I wonder if that's really signed by him. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, invoice. You guys don't want to know what that is. So. <clears throat> see here so this boy we've been kind of looking and thinking about getting into this project a little bit we weren't sure how to do it and we have um, we always are sneaking into stuff but sneak, sneak. that hard is always so polite <laughs> so this is a boy and you guys have probably seen this in one of his videos recently but this is a Super Mojave. Super Mojave, 100% het um, monsoon, but it's possible that it's a visual monsoon. So when we looked at the the um, black light, it looks like it's a monsoon to us. And a couple thing, people think that. So once he starts to color up, we might know a little bit better. Um, the very light head for Super Mojave. It is a very light head for a Super Mojave, but also in the sunlight you can see there's a dorsal stripe here and then it blows out. It stops right here and it blows out, which is something that does happen to monsoons. It doesn't happen in hit monsoons, but it does happen in visual monsoons. And Super Mojave should have that dorsal stripe all the way down, but this one does not. So we're taking the chance on possibly getting a visual Super Mojave monsoon and it's possible calico as well. So that was in the mix. This boy is uh, going to do well for us. You know, we got to get a, a few more monsoon stuff, but 
I'm excited. This is this is a you know a big animal for us, and we're excited to uh, be put him putting him into the rotation. Uh, he has a little bit of time before he can get there, obviously. But Justin did do a video. If you guys saw Justin's video, um, and I can put a link in the description below about his that video. Tell us what you guys think, and um, if you would have done the same purchase or not. But beautiful animals, really. Really stoked to be working with this, uh, the monsoon stuff now. And so, <laughs> yeah, it's another trick coming out of our sleeves here over at R&B Reptiles. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are keeping up with us and seeing what we got going on. Make sure you guys are watching our morph market for all different sorts of animals that we have. Um, we're almost all sold out of the blue tongue skinks. There's a few people that snuck in and bought a handful lately. And we're just about out. So if you're looking for those, they don't come around but once a year generally because of they're very seasonal. So we won't have any available until maybe July or August of next year. And uh, that's usually they're born at the end of May or something like that. So if you're looking for blue tongue skinks, now's the time to get it. And also make sure you guys are watching Herp House Rock. We appreciate all the support you guys have been giving us. We've been getting a lot of messages and uh, it's, it's really fun. And so hopefully you guys are seeing that. Make sure you like this video and hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And then, uh, yeah, you know, give us a little comment down below. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. It's hard for me to see the viewfinder with the light. Just so you know. We, we picked up a few things and uh, one of them's pretty interesting, so stay tuned. See back there, raining dollar bills. I know, raining dollar, raining dollar bills. All right, and then the last snake. Nice warm day here in sunny Southern California. Sunny Southern California, all right. <clears throat> so the next one, last one, hopefully the air conditioner doesn't. Uh... You want me to cut until it goes off? Nah. Should be able to hear me, right? You guys can hear me, what? right? What? Right. Is it rolling? It's rolling. Oh, I didn't even hear it. They see you hating. <clears throat> see you hating. Rolling. Yeah. Mercy, get out of there. Go. <laughs> Dog, sit. stay here. Okay. We're outside because we're opening up some boxes of animals. We had a couple animals that we were deciding that we were going to pick up, and we've decided. You're real loud. <laughs> Maybe this is a bad idea. I, I like the energy. I like the energy. 